Welcome back to Voodoo Family Travels. I'm Greg. And I'm Val. Today we're going to show you the Cricket Golf Cart, the RX-5, how we break it down and fit it in the back of a vehicle. So if y'all was like us, we had a travel trailer and uh, we didn't want to carry another trailer behind a travel trailer. Now we got a Class C, which we carry our Jeep behind, and we kind of wanted a golf cart for the campgrounds and stuff like that. Well, we found this. If it's directly in the back of the Jeep or a small car or a uh, uh, mid-side uh, uh, truck. So, we'll show you how I break it down and how it goes in. It's fairly simple and it's uh, pretty good. So the first thing you do is unscrew these screws with a nice little handle right here. Everything to take it apart has this and it's fairly easy to take it off. And this is an optional feature. This is the Bimini top. They also have one that comes down with a windshield that is called the resort top. It does uh, fold up and down in the back. You can either use it for carrying cargo or as an extra seat for two more people. And it it holds a weight limit of 600 pounds. And it holds four people. So the next step, you come here and you unscrew these screws here. There's two. So everything that you take apart is only two screws. lift up and slide back push this down push the pedal and then replace your holes back we just think it's a better thing that way you know where your boat's at if you always go back in a screw hole. all right you got this little uh, switch right here and you got two bolts underneath here. The two bolts are set screws with a locking nut so you loosen these up a little bit then you pick this up and they got a little slot right here. Once you do that you're able to Compact it down into smaller footprint. Then you can take this rack off the back. They got two more uh, bolts right here, locking bolts, and then it just slides right out. Then we have the backrest comes off as well. There are two bolts right here. We're missing those. They're supposed to be mailing them to us, so we'll have those soon, but that just slides out. And you can lay that on the seat here. The steering wheel comes off as well. There's some little caps right here to cover up the wiring. You can just put those in the little compartment there. You just unscrew the collar. And it's a little rough this time because this is the first time we're actually taking it apart. So everything's a little... A little bit tight. <laughs> tight. And you can just lay that like so. And uh, they do have a remote that comes with it. So you can put it back in the car. But the place we bought it from says just put the... This is your speed level right here. You just put it low. Put it on forward and you can press the gas and it'll go in the same type of way. And then back here, this is your uh, brake to put in. Uh, if you push that in, it locks it from rolling back. That way, if you have to stop and adjust your ramps, then you can uh, get it in easier. So the ramps, because we were hitting on the side, let's try this again. <laughs> Thank you. 
and it's in. So it ain't that hard. This is our first time doing it, but uh, the more you do it as anything, it'll get easier for you yeah, to do it. Yeah, we're a little bit crooked, but we'll get we'll get better at lining the ramps up and get it to go in straighter. And back up. <laughs> All you Wait, gotta do take it out. Talk, because they probably can't. All you gotta do is line up your ramps and roll it back. The ramps are a little squeaky because it, it's just pretty much the exact width of the tires. But you roll it out, and they there got, you go. They got a little ledge, a ledge on the side of the ramp to kind of guide your tire on it as straight as it can be. And then the ramps do um, collapse down, so you can slide them in the, the uh, vehicle on the side of the, the uh, golf cart. So now we're gonna go back to how it hooks up. I'm gonna go with the steering wheel first. Pick it up. Screw it back in. Slide it in, screw it. Hand tight, you don't need to make it where it's super tight or anything. Just hand tight. And then you put your little covers back over the wires. Just That's just to hold it in place. You have your seat back cover. Got this thing back. Slides into these little spots. Something like that. <laughs> it's a little tight. All right, and then you screw those bolts back in. And now we're going to move it back a little bit so we can extend it. <laughs> Same thing. Pick up on this little knob. You lock it in place. There. Came out easier compared to going in. And like I said, it's, uh, it's still new so it's kind of stiff. Then you pick it up. You lock it in place. And you got two bolts underneath that are uh, like set screws. So you just turn them in, get them a little tight. They don't have to be super tight, just enough snug. Then go up with your set screw on it. And that's just to ensure that nothing comes apart while you're driving. And then we put the base plate back in. Now unscrew your, your screws. And you have to push down on the pedal to get it in. a little bit of working it into place and then you put your screws back Back 
coffee and then you bimini top. In here. Loosen up the screws. And you'll drop all the way. Mm -hmm. and put them in place. And there you go. And you're ready to roll. And to be honest, this is our first time taking it apart, so it's really not that bad. The more you do it, the more you get used to it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Forward and reverse. If you do, if you have the speed set too low, it will not go in reverse. So you got to make sure it's turned up a little bit when you want to uh, go in reverse. You got horns, blinkers, and you also have front lights. Headlights. Mm -hmm. So, and that's... Simple controls, a couple of cup holders here for cruising around the campground. And you got a uh, power supply, 12 volt and USB. And, uh... That's the That's cricket. It. Thank the you again. RX5. Thank you again for watching Voodoo Family Travels. We'll see you again soon.